Snow White, written by Harriet Zeifert, illustrated by S Sebastian Van Donick. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. Everyone called her Snow White. Her stepmother, the queen, was jealous. No one should be more beautiful than me, she said. The queen spoke to her magic mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who in this land is fairest of all? The mirror answered, you, my queen, are fair, it is true, but Snow White is much fairer than you. The mirror's answer made the queen very angry. The queen ordered a hunter to take Snow White to the woods and make sure she could never leave. But the hunter let Snow White go. Run away, run far away, princess. Snow White was left to wander alone in the woods. After walking for a long time, Snow White found a small cabin and went in. She was hungry and tired. She helped her help herself to some food from the table and looked around for a place to sleep. Snow White slept until she was awakened by one of seven dwarves. Snow White told them her sad story. I have a mean stepmother who wanted to get rid of me, but a kind hunter let me free in the woods, and now here I am. One of the dwarves spoke for all of them. Princess, do not worry. You can live here with us. Meanwhile, the mean queen was still talking to her magic mirror. She asked it again. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who in this land is fairest of all? The mirror answered. You, my queen, are fair, it is true, but Snow White, who now lives with the seven dwarfs, is much fairer than you. What? yelled the queen. Snow White? Still alive? I will poison her with this apple. The queen, dressed as an apple seller, arrived at the door of the cabin and offered Snow White an apple. Looks delicious, said Snow White, and she took a big bite. Snow White immediately fell to the floor. The dwarfs struggled to wake her up. When they could not, they cried and cried. One day, a prince passed by on a horse. He thought Snow White was beautiful. When he lifted her up, a piece of apple that was stuck in her throat became loose. Snow White spit out the piece of apple and asked, Where am I? Who are you? And you, my readers, probably know what happened next. Snow White married the tall prince and they lived happily ever after. <laughs>